not sure where to go, or what to see. Then, let's explore. Singapore. Keep watching and we'll show you, the top self-guided day plan so that you can see the best attractions, at your own pace, for free. We'll also show you the best time to travel here. Save time and money by rolling with Tour Bird Buddy. We do all the hard work for you. To explore more cities, be sure to subscribe. Awesome. Let's roll. This tour is best, if you only have a day. A full 9 hour day. Another tour is. Singapore highlights. This will take about 11 hours, big day, but worth it. Another tour is. Traditional Singapore. At 6 hours, this can easily be done in a day. Maybe you'd rather. Sentosa Island. At 6 hours, this can easily be done in a day. Another tour is. The Colonial District. Not so long, we recommend 5 hours for this tour. Another tour is. World War II Sites and Memorials. About 7 hours is ideal for this tour. Maybe you'd rather. Kid-friendly attractions. You'll need about 8 hours to enjoy this. Let's look at. If you only have a day. A busy day spent exploring must-see attractions, including Marina Bay Sands, Singapore, Gardens by the Bay, and Helix Bridge. Airy quarters in a vibrant property with an infinity pool and a spa, plus high-end restaurants and bars. Next stop Gardens by the Bay. A network of modern greenhouses and waterfront parks containing super trees lined with solar cells. And then Helix Bridge. Steel Foot Bridge, opened in 2010, inspired by the curved form of the structure of DNA. Then on to Merlion Park. Iconic, 8.5 meters tall statue with the body of a fish and head of a lion, shooting water from its mouth. Next stop Sentosa. Sentosa is an island resort off Singapore's southern coast, connected to the city by road, cable car, pedestrian boardwalk and monorail. Then on to Universal Studios Singapore. Movie amusement park with sets and rides on themes from Hollywood to sci-fi, plus live entertainment. Let's look at for highlights. A jam-packed day full of the island's top sites, from the botanic gardens to night safari. 183-acre botanical gardens with sculptures, a swan lake and significant collection of tropical trees. Next to Buddha Tooth Relic Temple and Museum. Tang Dynasty-style temple housing religious relics, with ornate rooms and a tranquil rooftop garden. Then on to National Gallery Singapore. Museum of Singapore and Southeast Asian Arts housed in a restored municipal building dating to 1929. Next to Singapore Flyer. Huge observation wheel opened in 2008 for views of the city plus high tea and butler service flights. Next stop Gardens by the Bay. A network of modern greenhouses and waterfront parks containing super trees lined with solar cells. Then on to Sands Sky Park Observation Deck. Hotel's observation deck on the 57th floor offering panoramic city views and two upscale restaurants. Then on to Night Safari, Singapore.
night zoo with tram rides and walking trails through rainforest past elephants, tigers and leopards. Let's look at traditional Singapore. A busy day exploring the city's traditional sites, from Little India to Chinatown. This landmark Hindu temple displays elaborate architecture and colorful statues of deities. Move on to Masjid Sultan. Landmark Islamic House of Worship in the Kampong Glam Malay Heritage District, with guided tours. And then Malay Heritage Center. Museum offering changing exhibits on Singapore's history and culture, plus related performances. Then move to National Museum of Singapore. Classical and modern architecture converge in this large, vibrant museum of Singaporean artifacts. Then move to Peranakan Museum. Peranakan culture is explored through interactive and multimedia exhibits in a historic 1912 building. Next stop Sri Mariamman Temple, Singapore. Built in 1827, the city's oldest Hindu temple features a tower densely ornamented with deities. And then Chinatown Heritage Center. Restored shop houses displaying living spaces, furnishings and artifacts of early Chinatown settlers. Next stop Thian Hock Kang. Historic temple built in the classic Chinese style of architecture with columns and dragon sculptures. Let's look at Sentosa Island. A full day visiting popular attractions on Singapore's Sentosa Island. Butterflies, beetles and other colorful insects are the main attractions at this lush interactive zoo. Move on to Tiger Sky Tower. An enclosed cabin rotates to the top of this high observation tower with sweeping views. Then onto Siloso Beach. Wide sandy beach hosting volleyball and water sports, with bars, shopping and dining lining the strand. Then onto Fort Siloso. Restored World War II coastal fort housing a military museum with interactive exhibits and tours. Next to iFly. Adventure destination offering a simulated skydiving experience in a vertical wind tunnel. Let's look at the Colonial District. A jam-packed day full of historic sites around Singapore's colonial district. A former convent and school, this 19th-century structure now houses restaurants, bars and event space. Next to War Memorial Park, Singapore. Grassy public park and memorial to servicemen and civilians who died during World War II, with a pond and trees. Next stop St. Andrew's Cathedral, Singapore. This expansive cathedral offers complimentary guided tours of its sanctuary in early Gothic style. Move on to Armenian Church, Singapore. Visitors can stroll through the tranquil memorial garden behind Singapore's oldest Christian church. 
move on to Padang, Singapore. Stretch of playing fields that has hosted many historic colonial and national events. Next stop the Arts House. This arts institution in a 200-year-old building hosts film festivals, performances and art exhibits. Next stop Victoria Theatre and Concert Hall, Singapore. Home to the Singapore Symphony Orchestra, the refurbished Victorian building features a clock tower. Next stop Asian Civilizations Museum. Museum exploring the history and cultures of Asia and their shaping of contemporary Singapore. Let's look at World War II sites and memorials. A full day visiting some of the city's World War II sites and memorials. British Commonwealth World War II Memorial and Military Cemetery honoring thousands of Allied troops. Next stop Former Ford Factory. The former Ford factory is located along Upper Bukit Timah Road at Bukit Timah in Singapore. Next stop Bukit Chandu War Memorial. Restored colonial bungalow commemorating the Battle of Opium Hill through exhibits and artifacts. Then on to Fort Siloso. Restored World War II Coastal Fort housing a military museum with interactive exhibits and tours. Next to the Battle Box. Military and Historical Museum inside a World War II era British Underground Command Center. Next to War Memorial Park, Singapore. Grassy Public Park and Memorial to Servicemen and Civilians Who Died During World War II, with a pond and trees. Let's look at kid-friendly attractions. A day full of child-friendly sights, from Jurong Bird Park to the Singapore Zoo. Sprawling sanctuary housing over 400 bird species from parrots to penguins, plus play areas and cafes. Move on to Science Center Singapore. Interactive Science Museum offering kids indoor and outdoor exhibits on Earth, biology and space. Then on to Hapar Villa. Unique park using giant statues and dioramas to retell historic Chinese legends and religious mythology. Next to Jacob Bala's Children's Garden. Nature-themed park for kids featuring interactive displays and activities, including a waterfall cave. Then move to Singapore Zoo. Rainforest Zoo with tram rides, trails and viewing platforms to see wildlife habitats and exhibits. The most popular travel time in Singapore is August. The temperature ranges from 32 to 26 degrees Celsius. Yearly events. Chinese New Year varies Jan and February. The Singapore Formula One Grand Prix is in September. Check the video description below for weather tips, more events and links to rewatch a day plan. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you always go the best way for the best day. Oh, and help planning your trip, check the links in the video description below.